Hey, hello you! Let's talk about metal! Today we are finishing my top 25 best metal album of 2023, finally! So that's my last top 5 picks. So let's start with... Uh, my number five, it's a band called Valdrin, uh, with their album Throne of the Lunar Soul. Valdrin are from Cincinnati. Uh, look at that crazy cover art incredible it's it looks like uh, I think a medieval uh, London in a parallel universe maybe that's my interpre interpretation of this cover I love it so much so I, I just wanted to love that album and in fact I love it that's their fourth album they are playing a progressive melodic black metal it's just a touch of progressive music it's not a prog band uh, per se uh, and they add a lot of uh, acoustic part and some uh, medieval feeling so really really good um, I think I will mix their sound with maybe a dissection a little bit of Emperor and uh, Stormkeep, more recent band that I I love their debut album in 2021. I think it's a very well composed album. There's a lot of diverse diversity, a lot of tempo changes. The riffs are just awesome. Uh, the melodies are the best thing you have on on this album in the atmosphere uh, too. Um, the acoustic passage, uh, Carter X is the main uh, songwriter, uh, he's doing the vocals, uh, his vocal is really reminiscent to John Novoit of, uh, uh, late John Novoit of Dissection, um, is, he also played guitar and uh, keyboard on that album, uh, I think the guitar playing here is uh, the highlight. Uh, so many great melodies, uh, many kind of melodies. You can have blast beat, but you can have mid tempo uh, pace also. A lot of variation, uh, some surprises on the way. So I really like their sound. On the drum, Ryan Moore Mayer uh, is really hot. He's not the the best uh, technical player out there but he has really nice ideas to really fit the riff of Carter uh, quite well. Uh, my best song I'd say will be the opener Never After that is beginning and building the, the, the song it's like a little bit an intro at the beginning but then the, the riffs hits you the melodies is so good also, Paladins of uh, Obsidure uh, will be a really highlight with uh, his stunning medieval ending, absolutely beautiful. And the title track, some more mid pace song, really, really flavorful. So, love that. Number five, Valdrin, Throne of the Lunar Soul. Number four, it's a band from. Uh, Switzerland called Stort Ring. Uh, their album is called Finitude. So Star Train is a, I'd say a tech mellow death, uh, tech mellow death metal with a fantastic acoustic work uh, in the vein of flamenco. If you know bands like uh, 
world band like Strands and Fera or uh, artists like uh, Aldi Meola, John McLaughlin. There's a lot of influences by those guys. The instrumental parts in this album are so good, so well constructed. The soloing is out of this world. Uh, what I love the most about the instrumental part of this album is that always, not always, but very often it's going calmer and slower and then it will build up with the solo uh, on acoustic, on, on electric guitar. Uh, every single solo is really unique. It's a new experience in every single song. It's so good. Love the builds up. Uh, Johan Smith is uh, the main guitar lead player. He's extraordinary. This guy has so many cool ideas. Uh, really love uh, the way he's playing. And uh, singer Romain uh, Negro is also really, really talented. Love his voice. It's quite unique, dimensional, but at the same time, that's the kind of voice you want for that type of technical death metal with some other flavors. Outstanding drum work, obviously, very technical. Uh, a great part of their sound is how the drums act behind all those crazy riffs, all those great solos, and when I talk about builds up, the drum is a great part of that. Best track will be uh, the title track, Finitude. Really short but efficient track. Uh, Xeno Chaos, really nice, and the closing, the revelation, is absolutely beautiful. Love that. So, number four, Torturing with Finitude. At number three, I name uh, the band one of my favorite uh, new band. It's called Moonlight Sorcery. Their album is uh, House, um, not House, Horn, Lord of the Torn. Castle. Moonlight Sorcery is from Finland. It's a really guitar oriented melodic death black metal that will add some. Uh, power metal in their style but just in the guitar playing there's absolutely memorable and uh, solos and melodies in here uh, it's from Finland so the comparison uh, is like mandatory to Alexi Laio the kind of melody, soulful melodies that uh, guitar player um, what is name uh, Mati Mati Meri Uti I think <laughs> it all rhymes so very uh, poetic as a name uh, really good influence on guitar uh, by Alexi Leo it's not exactly the same it's different but you can tell it's from Finland and that the guy have listened to Children of Bodom early in his uh, in his early days I, I'm, I'm pretty sure so you can get enough of those melodies and those legendary yes that's their debut album and i'm using the term legendary because those solos will uh test that will uh, i think the test of time will do well for them you just want more and more but there's also uh smash riffs there's big riffs really uh almost trashy uh but death metal also influence it's hitting hard from time to time and the tapestry of atmosphere here on the keyboard it's absolutely amazing there's no soloing it's just to make uh, an ambience an atmosphere and it's really haunted uh, for most of the song at the same time it's such a sing-along uh, album uh, with tons of melodies and hooks to die for uh, on the mic to sing it's Anti Mikolainen. He has the perfect voice with that kind of music. So uh, reminiscent maybe to Izan from uh, Emperor. Absolutely 
great voice. Uh, can't wait to see them live. I hope it will be soon. The best tracks, uh, all of them actually are... There's no bad tracks here. There's a, an instrumental track that is really good. But my maybe three favorites will be uh, Too Little That Day. That's the first song. The second song is In Coldest Embrace. Absolutely amazing with uh, an amazing guitar lead that reminds me of the band Imperanon from Finland with Timu Mantisari. And maybe the last one I will mention uh, is um, uh, Into the Slavery Shadows of Night. Out of this world song with the outro going into sol infinite solos. So really nice. Moonlight Sorcery at number three with the album uh, Orn Lord of the Torn Castle. At number two, uh, that will be Hell Ripper with their album Warlocks Grim and uh, Withered Hags. This is a band from Scotland. This is a one-man band. 28 years old, Jim, James McBain is playing everything. There's no programming. He's really playing everything. He's also singing in this band. He's composing. Uh, he recorded uh, the album. He mixed it. He mastered it. If I remember it right, I think he, he did also the... Did he do the, 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 re, the mastered? That's the only thing I'm not sure, but it's a one-man project and it's crazy good. That's why it's my number two. It's uh, maybe, uh, I will say, a speed, melodic, black trash metal. There's a lot of influence from um, maybe uh, Kill em All of uh, Metallica, uh, the first wave of black metal for sure. Uh, Iron Maiden in some of the melodies, uh, the band Bewitched. Uh, and also Bewitcher, but Bewitcher is more recent, but there's some comparison that we can do with them, and maybe Butcher from Belgium, another really good uh, out, the band out there. Crazy good vocals that it's really in between black and trash metal. It's really, really energetic. Uh, the melodies are beautiful. Uh, it's catchy, but at the same time, there's a little bit of dissonance, a, a, just a small dose of it, and, and it adds to um, the climax of the album, of the songs. Uh, there's a black metal trash vibe, uh, so you will find flavors from both styles. Exciting riffs with a tons of energy. Uh, you want to play them on guitar it's it's so energetic it reminds me a lot of the energy of the fast song on kill em all but faster so uh, that's cool a lot of fast tracks on it but there's also some variation there's a song of eight minutes and one of seven minutes that are uh, more mid-tempo but at the same time there's a blast beat in the in one of them uh, so there's a lot of tempo changes, a lot of riffs, a lot of great solos. Uh, it's not virtuoso solos, but it's good songwriting. So you will like it very much, I'm pretty sure. Best track will be the opener, Knuckle Levy. Such an amazing track. You want to listen to it again and again. The title track is really good, a mid-tempo one. Uh, the Cursed uh, Carry On Crown is freaking amazing and uh, I think the masterpiece of this album, it's a masterpiece all in all, but the best track for me is really Master Stool Worm. What a song. Listen to that. So at number two, L Ripper with Warlocks, Grimms and Withered Hag. 
Finally! On the first place, that's a band that's uh, more known in the music uh, metal industry. And it's Car Symmetry with the Singularity Part 2, Phase 2, Xenodaf. It's their first album in nine years, the wait was really long uh, because Per Nilsson was uh, occupied in Meshuga, he did other stuff with uh, progressive rock band Kepa and with Nocturnal Rides, the power metal band. It's from, they are from Sweden, obviously they are there for uh, like 20 years now. Uh, how to describe them is melodic death metal. Uh, with great hooks, with uh, some alternate vocals between growl, streamy vocals and really uh, catchy, uh, clean vocals that sounds a little bit like melodic hard rock. The hooks are infectious, it's so good but you have to like cheesy metal because there's a lot of cheese in it. There's some cheese also in the soloing. My only complaint, because I have a little complaint, even for my number one, it's uh, the songs are all a little bit formulaic. They are sounding a little bit like the same, but at the same time, it's so incredible. The songwriting here, the quality of the hooks on vocals, on guitar, um, all the sci-fi intergalactic atmosphere behind uh, the passage of or the transition on a like galactic keyboard uh, it's uh, a little bit um, out sounds how can I say that oh Sean Lin was saying that uh, outside sound yes thank you Sean um, it's Really, really nice, obviously, on the guitar because Per Nilsson is a master, one of the best in the scene presently. His soloing are, is so, so good. I think you just have to listen to tracks like uh, Chrono Nautilus to, to know it. Uh, there's really lengthy solo in some of the tracks also. If you like good phrasing, uh, great imagination on soloing, absolutely memorable melodies in the soloing. It's not, it's the the style of pair is always uh, oriented towards the quality of the melodies, even when he's soloing. So there's shredding, there's tapping licks. Uh, there's a lot of fun and tricks on guitar, but at the same time, it's always about the melodies and fitting the sound. Uh, he did a masterful job on that, and um, the duo vocal is very efficient if you like growl against clean vocals, if you like it cheesy a little bit, if you don't, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> So, best tracks on air, Chrono Nautilus, the first track with the end, with a big blast beat and a really big amount of intensity to start off the album. Uh, I will say Alter Geese is one of the most intense track that uh, Pernison has written to date and maybe Gridworm, but they are all so good. The only song that maybe step out of the box is the last one Xenotaph, a longer more progressive song all in all absolutely crazy album so that's it for my top 25 metal albums of 2023 let me your comments and i will see you in the next video it will be probably a top 10 
We'll see you. Stay metal.